Shah Galani joins me now. All right, Shah, come on in. What's your reaction to the 3.4% inflation at the consumer level? It's as expected, Stuart. I think the market's going to continue to rally. I think we're probably going to go into the second leg of the bull market that started in July. Um, the runway is clear now because inflation, whether it, it, it perks up, I don't think we're done seeing inflation spot higher here and there. Markets have figured out that the Fed will eventually cut rates no matter what inflation does. But the meantime, but the story behind the story is the economy is handling higher rates beautifully. We still have growth. Economic growth is fabulous. You know, it may be a little bit below trend as of the hot trend, maybe the last year and a half, two years, but it's cooled down enough to be just manageable. Nonetheless, inflation remains high. Everything else seems to be going. Nothing is broken. We thought banks were going to break. We thought, you know, commercial real estate was going to bring down some banks. Everything's been managed so far. And the longer rates stay elevated and the better the economy is able to handle it, the more markets are going to continue to go higher. And that's what they're seeing and that's what they're doing. So the second leg of the bull market is about to start or has started. Let me summarize it like that. Yeah, the only thing that could cause a hiccup in that, Stuart, is, as I've been saying on your show, is that if we see rates creep back up, and uh, that means that the, maybe the two-year would get okay. back above 2%, and the 10-year would get back up above, you know, say, 470. Um, mm -hmm. Barring that, markets have a clear runway to go higher. Okay, we're a long way from that right now. Shah Galani, thanks very much for joining us. We'll see you again real soon. Thank you very much.